Hey YouTube, Matt here with Motherboards.org and the Channel Pro Network. We're taking a look at a new SSD we just received from our friends over at Intel. As many of you may know, over the past year, one of my go-to SSDs has been Intel's 520 series, which had a great combination of durability, endurance, and raw performance. SSDs are rapidly evolving and there's no shortage of competition out there. So even with Intel's ability to design and manufacture their own NAND in-house, they still have their work cut out for them. Intel's 530 is the successor to the 520, and a little more actually. Whereas the 520 was largely limited to 2.5 inch SATA drives at seven and nine millimeters, the 530 broadens the lineup considerably to M SATA and the M.2 form factor at capacities ranging from 80 gigabits to 480 gigs. It also eliminates nine millimeter from the lineup entirely only comes in seven millimeter heights. Now let's take a look at some of the improvements made in this generation. Looking just at the specs, it doesn't look like there's a whole lot has changed beyond the capacities and the enclosure, which is definitely a, not, a lot nicer looking. 80 gigs is the new minimum for a 2.5 inch drive, eliminating the 60 gig skew entirely. However, on the inside, there have been some important key changes. The most significant is the switch from Intel's 25 to their 20 millimeter NAND flash memory. This in turn has two significant impacts on the 530. One is that 20 millimeter NAND is more cost effective, which you know, could help Intel price the 530 a little more competitively. Second, Intel has done a lot here to improve the power efficiency of the 530, resulting in an idle power consumption that's 90% lower than the 520. Intel claims that when used with Haswell-based systems, advanced power management um, techniques reduce consumption even more dramatically, down into the microwatts. But rather than move to their own in-house controller like what we saw in the S3700 series Enterprise Class SSD, Intel is sticking out another year with the Sandforce SF2281. And it's not a bad choice. The Intel tuned Sandforce 2281 still holds its own in performance and raw speed, whereas the SATA 6 interface is the real bottleneck. The 530 does outperform the 520 though, with excellent read and write performance, measuring up to 540 megabits per second read and 490 megabits per second writes. IO performance is up as well, now hitting 41,000 uh, random read IOPS and 80,000 IOPS random write. In fact, Intel has done a lot to improve on its write performance with small files and is now one of the better drives on the market for sustained reads and writes. So what can we conclude here? Intel's 530 is a good refresh to an already great SSD, engineered for a great balance of quality and performance that's really good for just about any use. It also comes backed by a five-year warranty. The real improvement for the 530, however, is in the power consumption department making the 530 a real winner for use in ultrabooks, notebooks, and hybrids. Now, we've also got a great opportunity for you to try a 530 out for yourself. Click the giveaway link in the video description for your chance to win one of two Intel 530 SSDs, courtesy of our friends at Intel. That wraps it up for today. On behalf of motherboards.org and the entire Channel Pro Network, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.